In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a new camera in Blender. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and press on the add button here. There's also a shortcut for this. I believe it's like shift or control A. And you want to go ahead from add and go down to where it says camera. So as simple as that, you've gone ahead and added yourself a camera. And with this camera, you can of course move it. So we can move it this way, this way, this way. Make sure that you have this move button selected. You can also rotate it, just like that. And you can also rotate it uh, this direction too. And you can use this like free rotation tool here if you want to. You've also got scaling. I'm not sure how uh, useful that is to be fair. Um, but the main ones you want to use are the um, move ones and the rotate ones. So that's how you go ahead and add a camera. Now, some other things that you can go ahead and do now, if you want to see the view from the camera, you can do control R and then zero. And that should put you in the sort of camera view, just like that. And then when you click out of it, that's going to move it. So you can see the angle that the camera is looking at. Now, what we can also do is over here, there's going to be this uh, tab here. It might not show up for you. If it doesn't, there's going to be a little arrow that sticks out this way. Click on it and you can go to view. And from here, we can go stuff like lock camera to view. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to basically be inside of the camera and we can basically from here position uh, position things to our liking. So we can, if we're trying to get a specific angle, we can basically move it around uh, until we kind of get it where we want it to go. So that's a really, really useful thing that we can actually go ahead and do. You can also go ahead up here to the local camera and change the camera that you're actually using, just like this with this one here. So select that and you can select which camera it is you want to go ahead and move. But it's really as simple as that to go ahead and add a camera. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped and let me know if there's any other questions about this or anything else. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.